welcome back to season three of tigers franchise here on mlb the show 24 if you missed that little recap you can watch right now it's not that long but basically i will quickly show here's free agency we signed caleb ferguson reese hodkins edgar rivero john means jorge mateo mike soroka michael kupich a couple of other guys and then the big one vladimir guerrero jr and michael king those were our two big ones in terms of trades we traded matt moore to get some prospects we also traded for dusty may and lee quinn from the dodgers to basically trade gary carpenter luke gold and will vest and then we trade for wyatt langford and we get rid of jace jung and ty manning as well so and then we also J trade for james cheney get rid of justin henry malloy and Bo brisk and jake rogers we also trade to get a couple of other prospects from the Diamondbacks as well. Going over the opening day roster, obviously Tarek is going to be our ace, but we also extended him. His contract's going to be huge. 23 million, we'll see how he does. Uh, obviously Michael King, Walker Bueller, Matt Manning. And we kind of added guys like John Means and whatnot to add depth. Mike Soroka will start in AAA. For right now, but I want to give Jackson Job, Willie Prando, Flores, Mario Roles kind of a little bit more development, even though I get you know they're 23, they're a little bit older prospects, but again, compared to other sports, 23 is still very young. Connor Meadows, our pick last year, he's going to start out in Toledo as well, and then bullpen wise, nothing too crazy closing we're gonna have tanada stay down he's only 19 I, i'm gonna wait for him until he's like 21 maybe 22 to call him up carlos vasquez he is our quote-unquote international uh free agent signing and the rule with that is is they're gonna be c potential at least no more than c potential that's gonna be the highest i mean they could go higher but i'm also gonna make them older like 26 and up in terms of international prospects and see potential so i'm not just like oh here i'm making a 21 year old 88 overall guy so that's kind of the rules for that as well but he's going to be there also ricky day i'm leaning towards potentially signing a guy because i don't think ricky day is ready at all we're going to trade race hotkins most likely but for now we're going to keep him down cold keats going to be up at the big leagues he has been probably i would say our most consistent hitter this young season leaning towards ho Yu lee but edgar ed guy rosario is getting sent down troy wilkes probably one of our top prospects he's back to third base i just think he's better there somewhat for now um so he's gonna stay there and then ty Petey got called up He's going to wait behind Jorge and Mateo. We might send him down to get him more reps, but we'll see how it goes. And Badu and Oswaldo Cabrera, Riley Green, and then Wyatt Langford and Max Clark for now, but we might send him down as well. We start opening day of year three in Cleveland, facing a familiar foe in the Cleveland Guardians. Let's hop into it. Jorge Mateo is going to start off. We are facing Shane Bieber, and the first pitch of season three is underway, and it's going to be fouled off. We signed him from the Orioles. A little bit of an older guy, but he's also a very versatile guy as we swing and miss there. As I'm a little bit rusty with this game, but hopefully we can get going as Mateo is going to fly out two third, start off the ball game. As Mike Trout is almost close to 2,000 career hits. Cole Keith, not even close to that, but he's going to fly out to the left to make it two outs. Now here comes big, bad Vlad Guerrero, the big signing. And he's going to hit a perfect, perfect single to keep this inning alive. Now Spencer Torkelson is up. Hopefully he did take advantage of the run. Nolan Arenado, almost close to 400 career home runs. And also 2,000 hits. Going to be a historic year for him. Torkelson, going to be a deep fly ball. Is it good? Oh, what a catch. Wow, what a catch there. 
That's Luis Uris. He's going to be up. He's going to hit a perfect, perfect. He's going to get his Tigers debut with a single. Now, Carlos Vasquez, the international prospect from the Dominican Republic, is first MLB at bat is going to be a fly out and through two, almost two, zero, zero. Max Clark, who hit oh, 319 and had nine RBIs last year in September, is up and it's going to be a fly out to right. Jorge Mateo hit a double now. Can Cole Keith bring in the first run of year three? That's probably not going to help with that horrible swing. Shane Bieber only has 18 pitches so far. I forget Cole Keith was an all-star last year. So I completely forgot. I haven't played this game in almost a month. So forgive me. I didn't mean to swing at that. That's all right. Maybe Big Bad Vlad can come and save the day. He probably will not more than likely because Jose Ramirez has a cannon on him. Kind of been a defensive battle. We have three hits compared to Cleveland's one. As Vasquez, whew. Shane Bieber making him look silly there. Vasquez almost again, but not quite. Hopefully, he's fighting it off. Another slider. Just very early. I gotta get my timing down again. He is gonna get a pretty good hit on it, but not good enough as it's gonna be fly flown out to center. Max Clark, who is in right field today. We switched him over from center field with Riley Green still being there. Figured he has a better opportunity in right. But it's not going to matter because through four and a third, it's still 0 0. And Bo Naylor hits a two run shot. And just like that, Cleveland's up. And Bieber, we're not giving Bieber a hard time at all. 45 pitches through six innings. Make that 46 as it's another fly out. Again, it's more than likely the rust, but yeah, I mean, it, we're kind of showing. I I have kind of high hopes. We spent a lot of money in free agency to make this team a playoff team. But Colton Keith is finally going to get us on the board there. What an absolute bomb! That'll definitely help boost the team's confidence there. Can Vlad Guerrero? He cannot. But we still got one left in the inning. Colton Keith showing his power for a second baseman. you love to see it. Don't mean to keep on hitting that. Hey, we get one run back. And our bullpen has crapped the bed. Now it's 5-1. And uh, it's kind of been the story of this series as Carlos Vasquez gets his first major league hit and it's going to be a single here in the top of the seventh inning. Can the young outfielder Max Clark come up huge? He's going to knock in a base run, cuts the lead down to three. You love to see it. Maybe we can get a rally going as Shane Bieber still in the game with only 64 pitches. Oh, Jorge Mateo, deep fly ball going at the track. Not quite. As our bullpen is still terrible. Dusty Mays in. He's given up a couple runs. I, so, yeah, it's just... Colton Keith going to fly out there as we are now here top of the eighth still Shane Bieber is in as Vlad's gonna take a ground ball 31,000 in attendance to see the Guardians here on opening day Vlad's gonna get another single second hit hit of the game we have more hits well we have six excuse me two ten hits for the Guardians 
as uh, Spencer Torkelson is there. Just fouled it off as Spencer Torkelson still hasn't gotten a hit yet. Absolutely rocks that just really early. But just a little bit too high. He could have had a home run, but th an absolute play by uh, the right fielder stopped that. Riley Green, this is probably going to be our last chance. I'm Unless we start a huge rally, I'm not going to show it. Yeah, so the Cleveland Guardians are going to steal a game here on opening day. As uh, Yeah, they're going to win 6-2. Colton Keith had a home run. Max Clark had an RBI. Other than that, Bo Naylor. Home run, four RBIs. Josh Naylor, the Naylor brothers, they got it done. Uh, Spencer, he did okay, and then just didn't. And Shane Bieber absolutely did his thing. In this second game, we are going to play our lock with Vladimir Guerrero. We're paying him the big bucks. We might as well see what this guy can do as he's going to hit a grounder to first in his first at-bat. But hey... Badu to run RBI double. He's gonna help us out, give us the lead. He, I don't know why they're showing that, but yeah, he was a home run derby champ. Cover athlete as well, should not swung at that. Another fly out, he's over two to start the day. Over two on the day today here in the sixth inning as we have, uh, I believe Keith on first as eight seasons, over a thousand hits for Vladimir Guerrero Jr pretty impressive as it's going to be an 0 for 3 day so far for, for the all-star and whatnot. Top of the 8th, it's still a 2 nothing lead. We got Keith, new guy on the mound as well. I did not mean to swing at that. But career-wise, he has not done great. 2 for 11 and 1K in his career. He's going to take a beautiful slider there. 22,000 this time. As. Oh, I should have waited for that. As Vlad's probably going to finish the day hit list here. But we do get the win. 2 0. Shout out Michael King. Seven innings pitched, five hits, six strikeouts. So, shout out to him. This game we are going to do Carlos Vasquez. He's hitting 167. This whole team, it's two games in, but they are not hitting well at all. It's really just been Vlad. It's our best hitter, honestly, average-wise. And even that, you know, like almost all of our lineups hit in one something. This is going to be a double steal. This do is going to be safe. Hmm. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen that, the double steal. Setting up Mr. Vasquez for success. Can he succeed? He takes a slider inside. 2-1 count against Gavin Williams. 3-1. Max Clark, who's hits well in runners in scoring position, but he has not hit the ball great at all. As Vasquez, he's going to get not just one runner is it going to be two it is going to be two a two run rbi double first rbis of his mlb career as well you'll love to see it also great hustle great hustle there 40 speed running all the way from second you'll love to see it as we're up to nothing I want to win this series in Cleveland. Vasquez, he hits it pretty good, but not good enough as it's going to be a fly ball to center field. How the base is loaded. Jorge Mateo hit a solo shot. Let's see what we can do. I don't know why it says 20th pick, 20th round pick in the 2018 draft. He's an international prospect. So, it's just a glitch in the game. We'll go with it. Uh, but huge opportunity here. 
not just for Vasquez, but for us in general. Did not mean to swing at that. I hate how it lightly does it. And Kerry Carpenter got five RBIs with the Dodgers. Seems like he's thriving, but Vasquez... Uh, it was a good hit ball, but not good enough. Now it's 3-1. As hopefully he can get another hit. He won't. It will more than likely be a double play. But we do get the W. Matt Manning. Two strikeouts, one earned run. Mateo hit a home run. And then Vasquez had two RBIs. Other than that, nothing too crazy. This guy we are going to play a lock in this episode is Ty Petey. He came off a phenomenal last month and a half of last season. We're holding him up right now call it or having him up right now to see what he can do i'm not worried if he gets called down he is only 20 years old he's young i'm willing to wait on him but he did so well last year in terms of hitting that i figured hey we'll call him up we'll give him a shot see what he can do as we do still stay on the road as we face chicago as that is a fly out to third base as azuna hit an rbi single is that going to get down? It is. We get lucky. I don't know if it's going to be an error, but we'll see. Nope, we count it as a double. So first hit. And then we are down 2 for 1 here in the top of the fourth as takes ball 1 here in Chicago. Um Beautiful hit ball, but right to the center fielder. Right. Now it's a 2-3 ball game after a Keith RBI double and then an Ian Happ solo shot. PD again. Not good enough as it's another fly out. Now it's a 3-3 ball game. Tor Torkelson hit an RBI triple. He didn't even, I didn't even know that he had the speed like that. But Petey's going to get an RBI. Shout out to Akil Badu with his speed. An RBI single. Runners on the corners as well. Huge for the young shortstop. And then we win 7-3 because Vlad hit three run shot. So you love to see it. Huge win for us there. All right, 10 the episode. We'll just show you how bad it is. We're only two, three games in the season, but I'm not worried. In terms of average, we don't have a lot of guys like Colton Keith. 125 Torkelson 154 Max Clark 182 maybe call him down Ty PD one game but still Vlad he's finally getting going Jorge Mateo's there as well Riley Green so we're kind of struggling a little bit pitching seems like really Bueller and Torkelson and Dusty May are the guys other than that we've been kind of shut down really only couple of guys like dusty may has been only those real struggle but next episode we're gonna go to toledo because last year's first round pick connor meadows is making his professional organized baseball debut we're also going to kind of take a look at some of the top prospects in baseball as well but if you made it this far in the video i hope you enjoy it let me know what you think season three is going to be we're already three and one let me know down your predictions. And until next time, you guys have a good one. Peace.